Hey guys, today in the shop we're going to be talking about the diesel tablet from Diesel Laptops. Pretty cool little scan tool, been messing around with it a little bit in the shop on a few different trucks and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's going to be perfect for you guys to have a, maybe a small shop at your house or you know, maybe even you got an independent shop and you need a good tool that can do a lot of things, so uh, stay tuned. All right guys, so like I said, this is the diesel tablet made by Diesel Laptops, and it really is a nice tool to have. Um, diesel Laptops really does a lot of like heavy duty, medium duty type of stuff, and they communicate with a lot of those things that you can have a difficult time communicating with, but this thing has proved really well in the light duty stuff too. Um, I mean, it'll even go right down to an F-150 and even some other stuff smaller than that, but this thing is really designed for the diesel technician in mind. And it has some pretty cool features. Um, so before we get into what's cap what you're capable of in the diagnostic area, they do have this nice repair section. So if you sign up for that subscription through diesel laptops, you can go right into that repair information and it'll give you labor times, wire diagrams, torque specs. I mean, you name it, it'll give you information you need. And it's a pretty nice feature to have built right into your scan tool. I they haven't really seen a lot of other scan tool manufacturers doing that. So, uh, you know, I think that that's definitely a pretty valuable tool to have, um, especially if you're working on something, you get the scan tool right in front of you rather than having to have a laptop or anything like that. Cause this, the module that actually plugs into the truck is completely separate. So you can use this as a standalone tablet, which is pretty awesome. So to connect to the vehicle, you get this, uh, little module that works with Bluetooth and has a little OBD2 port that connects right to it. And then there's a couple other adapters for the round pin for the medium and heavy duty stuff that plug right into the OBD2 port. And then you just plug this right into the vehicle and then we can get right into going through the uh, diagnostic procedures on this. All right, so once we get the scan module plugged in, we go ahead and click diagnosis. Then we're gonna do Ford, okay. Now normally you could do automatically search, but I do have a tune in this thing that kind of affects the way the VIN comes up. So we're gonna go manually select, vehicle select. This is a Ford. And then we're gonna scroll. As you can see, there's a ton of vehicles this thing could connect with just in Ford alone. We're gonna go F-Series, capacity, 6.0 liter, turbo, and 2003. Says set the ignition switch to the on position. Okay. Is this the vehicle? Yes. Now, right now, this is going to read every module in this vehicle. Obviously, on a 2003 six liter, there's not a ton of modules, but it'll go through and it'll find everything from the airbag module, instrument cluster, ABS module, all that stuff, and it's going to compile it into one spot. So as you can see through the OBD2 port, now it'll go through all the different modules here. ABS, restraint control module, if this vehicle had a gem module. And what we're gonna do is PCM. So we're gonna click on that, powertrain control module pops up and enter. So now once this thing pops up, there's a ton of stuff we can do. So you can read module information, fault code stuff, reading it, data stream, and even special functions. So on the special functions, one feature that I've only seen on uh, dealer level scan tools as far as these four six liters go that is also on here is a relative compression test, which is awesome. But it'll also do a complete EGR system test. Also, I've only really seen on dealer level scan tools. And then your typical stuff like Reset, keep alive, memory, and uh, interested to see what this fuel economy test is. Never really gone through that, but we're going to check it out. Um, this relative compression test can be really handy on a lot of vehicles. 
um, especially on a diesel because it can be very difficult to do a manual compression test because you have to pull the glow plugs out and you, you know that can be a nightmare. So you can go right through routes of compression and now what this will have you do is go through a series of uh, settings and then you crank it and then you're going to get your results. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that right now. So after completing the test, you can see there is zero difference between each cylinder because this motor is healthy. Now, if you had a cylinder that was low on compression, one of these would be a little bit low, would show a percentage. You're allowed some forgiveness on an engine, but 0% is phenomenal for this thing. And then it'll even tell you your mean cranking RPM, your average RPM. So another nice feature of this thing is the way that they do data and you can individually select certain data points on the, uh, the live stream that you want to watch and you can bring up only those and then you can take them and put them in graph form or just in regular number form, which is great. Sometimes graphs can be a little bit hard to read if you're trying to drive and data log at the same time or look over and just seeing that one number is great or sometimes you want a graph, uh, but then you can also hit record, which is great. It's all user friendly, very intuitive right on here. And to me, so far, I've used quite a few other scanners. I'm not going to name names, but some of them can be a little clunky to try to figure out how to record a data stream, um, how to save the information you want. So it's right there in front of you. And all you got to do is record. Once you're done, hit stop. And then you can type in a name if you want and save that right to the scanner. And then you can go back and access that at a later time. Especially, like I said, if you're on a road test and you got that one hiccup that's going on and it's kind of hard to catch it. So you can record, the hiccup happens, stop the recording, and then you can go back when you get to a safe place. So you can go and look at the data and see exactly what, what glitched on you. So other things you can do with the scanner is things like keys. You can do some programmable module installation, which is great because once again, a few of the other brands, you can't do that. Um, things like changing an instrument cluster out you're kind of stuck. You have to go back to deal level service, but this scan tool will do that for you. Even on a lot of diesels, the six liter, you don't have to, but once you get to the six sevens and obviously some of the medium and heavy duty stuff, you're going to have to do injector codes. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, when you swap out an injector, there's going to be a code on it and you have to change that code inside your vehicle's PCM. And if you don't, you can get check engine lights, you can get the vehicle to run a little rough or even have some drivability issues. So, it's really nice to be able to do that right inside the scanner. Um, I didn't get too much into what this thing is capable of and all the makes and models because I feel like this is gonna be my go-to scanner in the shop and we're gonna be using this a lot and as it comes up, I'm gonna show you more and more what this thing's capable of, but I just kinda of wanna get this in front of you guys and show you that uh, if you do have a small shop or even a home garage and you, you wanna spend a little bit of money and have a good diagnostic tool, so far, this diesel tablet from Diesel Laptops is seeming like the one to go with. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated. If anything comes up, the good, the bad, the ugly, I'll uh, definitely let you know. But so far, it seems like this thing is, is pretty solid. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as many as I possibly can. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And um, I mean, that's it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you at least go check this thing out, and once again, thanks for watching In the Shop.